evening. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? I had business elsewhere. That would better have been pretty damn important. Had to notify a lot of families tonight. Too many. I was counting on you. I'm sorry. Since we took a big hit from those animals. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. Think carefully about your next words, Jim. I've been thinking about him since the moment I threw that switch. Riddler had it out for Lucius Fox, and I'm sure there's something more. The way you're pushing back on this only confirms that. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He can follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? He's another friend. Now, for a loner, you sure seem to have a lot of friends. You might want to start choosing them more carefully. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. At strike three, one of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it. But you can. I know what it looks like, Gordon. But Wayne isn't dirty. You're wrong, you know. His whole thing, it doesn't add up. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Dropping threats and walking away. You've hit a new low, Jim. Yeah, I learned to live with it. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selene and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Damn it. 
Gordon has gone too far this time. I can't help but have sympathy for a man trying to do what is just. He feels as if Gotham is slipping out of control. And it is. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. I trust her. But can you trust her to do the right thing? You know what must be done. It's done, Al. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're you're Batman! <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it? from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you. But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocence, then I stop her. You really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop, uh, there is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you I look cool. Right on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed.